A clean and organized closet is the best. Not only does it streamline your morning routine, but you also have more room to buy clothes and shoes, which we all obviously need. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and these are 31 tips to reorganize your whole closet. 1. What to donate and what to toss. Essentially, choose a system to help you decide what to keep. Begin by gathering your four boxes. Label each one with these labels. Keep, donate or sell, recycle, trash. Start in one area of the room. This will be the first zone you are going to work in. Begin by taking any and all the items from that zone. If you find yourself stuck, ask yourself these questions. Have I used or worn this in the last six months? Is this item irreplaceable? If the answer to any of those questions is no, then say adieu to it now. Continue until you have cleared your zone. 2. To help you actually see everything you have, non-slip flocked hangers can make room to hang more clothes. I've heard multiple times that these hangers would change my life. Going through my entire closet led me to get rid of a couple of things that I no longer wear. However, the difference in my closet is also because of the hangers alone is striking. I can finally shift clothes to the side to actually see what I have. While some may think that saving their money and dealing with a tight closet is worth it, I'm completely sold on making the change. 3. Instead of letting your boots constantly flop over, use pool noodles to help them stand up straight. Just cut them down and wrap them in fabric. First, gather your supplies and heat up your glue gun. Next, place a pool noodle in the boot and draw a line at the top of the boot. Now, cut some fabric with a pretty pattern the right size rectangle so it will completely cover the pool noodles that you have cut. Lay your cut fabric out flat on your work surface and place the pool noodle in the center of it. Put a line of hot glue all the way across the length of the cut noodle and then wrap the fabric up and around laying the edge over the glue to hold it in place. Tightly wrap and glue the fabric in place around the noodle and attach the two seams of the fabric together. Now cut a piece of ribbon in a coordinating color and you're basically just going to tie the edges closed. That's it! Now make a few more sets for gifts and insert your pretty new boot supports into your favorite pair of boots. 4. Slot in a multi-tier shoe shelf to make every inch of the space beneath your hanging clothes functional. Easy to assemble and fairly durable, if set up correctly. I purchased two for my closet, and they fit one in front of the other perfectly inside my closet. I plan to place my winter shoes on the back rack and rotate them forward once summer is over. 5. Over-the-door towel rack and shower curtain rings makes it easy to see every scarf you own. Hangers really don't work all that well to keep them in place. Plus, hangers are a bulky solution for a problem that requires something more elegant. This system with the towel bars and shower curtain rings is genius. 6. You could also use a scarf hanger that can stash away on your closet rod until you need it. It's really sturdy and easy to organize the scarves neatly. It will hold a large number of scarves and gives them nice organization in a small space so you can see them and don't have to fold them. This was the perfect solution for your organization problem. 7. Organize your folded items like yoga pants or white t-shirts with a shoe box in a drawer. Shoe boxes can also be an amazingly helpful tool. Their thin cardboard walls take up very little space and allow you to hold and color code t-shirts to socks. 8. Using command hooks gives every pair of your sunglasses their own designated place. Attach the command hooks onto your wall and then hang your sunglasses on them. Neat and tidy. 9. Add rod and extra baskets on the back of your door to give you some extra space. Here's how to do it. Prepare the baskets, screw in hooks, and copper pipe or dowel. Screw in the hooks to the door and then insert the copper pipe in them. The same goes for the baskets. Simply screw it in and you're done. 10. To keep purses standing up straight and stacks of sweaters in line, 
Use simple shelf dividers to instantly make an open shelf functional. You could purchase the solid shelf dividers from the container store. Simply slide the dividers onto the shelf above one of your hanging rods and place two or three purses between each. 11. Stack your favorite clutches or wallets easily with a lid rack so you can always find the perfect one to match your outfit. Buy the lid rack. Put your clutches in it instead to keep them organized and standing upright in your closet. A very simple and practical organizer DIY. 12. The back of your door can be an ideal spot to display all of your jewelry. Blogger Seda uses a pocket hanging organizer inside her closet to keep her larger accessories like sunglasses, bracelets, and watches organized. For necklace and earring sets, she used an adhesive hook or clips with a special bonding agent that does not destroy paint when you're ready to remove the hooks. 13. If you have the square footage for it, use a storage ottoman to replace random baskets and bins all over the floor. Blogger Ramona from Fab Every Day replaced her bin with an ottoman that still provided storage but was more decorative. Much improved from the plastic bin and it acts as a great bench to sit on while buckling shoes. 14. Stack your baseball cap collection with a cap rack using unused space behind your door. Very handy and really a space saver. The holder is very easy to assemble and hang up and the hats stay on the holder without falling, which I was worried about. The caps can be easily seen when on the holder, so it isn't necessary to dig through a bunch of hats to find the one you're looking for. 15. With an adjustable height double hanging rod, you could instantly multiply your hanging space with zero effort to install. This is a great product. Affordable, strong, easy to install, and it hangs like a clothes hanger. It doubled the amount of space in your closet, and since you can choose how high or low to hang it, you could bring it up high enough to allow space for boxes on the floor. It's sturdy enough to hold heavy jeans or winter jackets or anything else you want. 16. Install a stick-on motion-sensing light so you could actually see the cute dress that got buried in the back. The lights are about the size of your palm. The sensors are perfectly sensitive, but does not work if a light is on nearby. Also, make sure to place these up high enough so small animals won't continuously trigger the sensors. It's easy to unscrew them for new batteries, and they seem to not use batteries too often. 17. Hang five pairs of jeans while taking up less than half the horizontal space with this specialty pants hanger. These hangers are a must-have for every closet, as they are the ultimate space-saving hangers. It's making my closet look more organized and neat. The open-end design allows me to hang and remove pants easily and quickly. Very functional and practical for everyday use. 18. Use a valet hook as an extra rod space in disguise, since it can fit several pieces of clothing and when you don't need it, simply stow them away flat. Garments hung sideways would stick out way too far into the space, making getting to the storage at the back of the closet a difficult task. Valet hooks hung along one sidewall would provide viable and significant hanging space, but unlike a hanging rod, would not obstruct the standing room. These particular valet hooks also fold up when not in use, and while I seriously doubt they'll be unused, why not give them the option? 19. Put all your shoes on display with several of these builder's grade wire shelves upside down. 20. You can store bed sheets in their matching pillowcases to keep them together. You can also use a storage bag where you can store each set of bed sheet, blanket, and pillowcase together. The flexible storage bag is easy to carry, pack, and store things. It has light weight to transport it easily and also clear to visibly see the contents. This flexible storage can be placed inside the closet, under the bed, or can even be used for traveling. 21. Use soda can tabs to create double coat hangers. The idea is simple. 
Just loop the soda can tab on one of the coat hangers, let it fall all the way down to the neck of the hanger, and then loop the top of the second hanger through the other side of the tab. You're not actually saving space in the closet, but it does keep the hangers from bunching up next to each other on the rack. Plus, if you like to keep a specific pair of pants with a shirt or tie with a shirt, this is a great way to keep them together. 22. To help plan your outfit every night before bed, you can use a pull-out valet rod. This valet makes it so easy to hang outfits up to choose your outfit for the day, to hang out what you would like to pack, to put away laundry, and even to steam your clothes. Its sleek appearance will keep your closet looking organized, whether you have it extended and holding clothes or pushed in waiting for its next use. Be aware of where you locate it. If you're mounting it to a shelf like pictured, make sure that the length of the screws are appropriate. 23. A hanger made especially to organize belts could also be used as a space-saving tank top station. Although it takes up a wider amount of space in your closet to do this, you'll be happy with how it's working out. The hanger is sturdy, so it doesn't tip or rock, and you can quickly add or remove your tops. You can organize by color or type or whatever you desire and grab and go. 24. To save more space in your drawer, fold and stack your t-shirt collection vertically. Here's how to do it. First, lay out your shirt with the print facing up. Next, fold the shirt in half lengthwise, print still facing up. Fold in your sleeves. Fold your shirt in half widthwise with the sleeves tucked inside the fold. Fold one more time widthwise. And then stack shirts in rows in your drawer with a pattern fold at the top. 25. Shoes on the ceiling. This is what you can do when you're absolutely pressed for space. For example, people living in a small studio apartment can take advantage of this method. These shoes are mounted on the molding that goes around the top of the walls. As long as you don't worry constantly about them falling onto your head, then this is a great way of storing shoes. 26. Using a divided organizer, keep all your bras, tights, and underwear in a precision order. I never thought I could fix the mess that was the drawer of my underwear until I bought this organizer. The drawers do not have universal measurements. They don't fit 42D bras well, but if you fold the bras in half, they fit okay. 27. Make a quick and elegant earring organizer on a cork board or on a small stretch of bare wall by stretching a length of chain between push pins or nails. All this takes is some leftover trim boards, those cup hook things, and some chains and screws. Here's how you do it. First, cut some leftover trim boards to fit the space. Then I measured out even spaces and hammered a nail on my marks so as to have a starter hole. Use those cup hooks and screwed them into the walls. Attach the chain to the screws, one on each end and one in the middle so the chain doesn't sag too much and that's it. 28. If your built-in shelves don't go high enough, then make use of all the vertical storage you have by adding small shelves on top so every bit of space serves a purpose. 29. Store the bags and purses used most often by hanging them behind the closet door. This system is perfect for storing handbags and accessories because it allows you to see all of your items in one place and effectively uses all of the available space. Before installing this over-the-door solution, all of the space towards the bottom of the door was completely unused, and instead, these handbags are taking up valuable closet space by our clothes. Using the door was a much more efficient use of the space and allowed us to take advantage of underutilized areas. 30. Use a protective fabric bag to pack away your seasonal items so you can let it sit at the top of your closet or slide it under your bed. The construction has a wire frame that keeps the full shape, even if you don't have it completely full of items. The front clear window is very smart and clean looking, allowing a clear view of the contents. The zip top section allows for easy packing of items, while the front zipper allows easy access to the contents if you stack the box on an upper shelf. 31. To save even more space, 
Compress bulky items for storage with a plastic garbage bag and your vacuum. Here's the easy way to do it. First, fold the blanket, winter coat, or whatever you have. Next, place the folded material into the garbage bag. Insert the vacuum hose into the bag, making sure it doesn't touch the plastic. Form a seal around the hose with one hand and turn on the vacuum. Once the bag has shrunk as much as possible, remove the hose and tie the end with a rubber band. Ta-da! Easy, right? And that's all for now. For more DIY hacks and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episodes.